I used to struggle a lot with uh, the line of uh, personal and and uh, personal public. Like what what is what what is too personal, and how do I convey that without it being too exploitative? I think our job is to explore and to communicate or translate uh, things that might not seem uh, translatable. And I think our job as artists is to uh, act as, as some kind of uh, catalyst for some kind of evolution. And when I say evolution, I mean evolution in thought, evolution in uh, how we see things, evolution in how we work together, evolution in how we, how we think. I love that I can take all of these materials and convey a sense of emotion and I can convey a sense of warmth maybe and it lets you deal with your thought process and how you interact with people. It almost becomes your own personal psychiatrist or friend or um, companion. I love talking to other people about their reactions to my art. I love it when the viewer or the audience takes something out of the work that you didn't necessarily think of while you were doing it. Some of the themes are movement, uh, the dilapidation of the mental and uh, physical body. A lot of my work deals with disease. I talk a lot about MS and how that relates to um, the dilapidation of your psyche or how that has an effect on you or the people around you. Uh, my mom was diagnosed with MS in um, 1984, and it's, it's just a very difficult process to watch somebody go through that. Some people call it the invisible disease because nobody knows that you have that at first. You have this kind of internal struggle going on where, where the person, that they might be in pain, but you're watching this person and knowing that you're kind of helpless um, in that, but just dealing with the social aspects too. How do you deal with somebody that you love dearly, their mental state of mind is, is just eroding, or their physical body is just eroding. So I try to kind of transfer those feelings or those situations or those experiences through my work. I kind of focus on how you kind of lift yourself up out of that state of mind. I always like the grotesque or the, um, the macabre. I think there's a certain point to it that becomes kitschy, and I don't like that. I think everything has its own beauty, but I don't think a lot of people realize that the darkness is beautiful. The darkness has always been beautiful to me. Everybody feels that way, and I think everybody goes through their own darkness. I just don't think everybody knows how to talk about it. So I think that's one of my main uh, things that I want to accomplish in my work, is to just to be comfortable with that dark place. You always have this central theme in your head, I think, as an artist of what you're going to talk about, what you're going to communicate. So I start with that. I usually end up beating the paper up so it's to, just to show some kind of an emotional connection or, or some kind of uh, really abrasive approach to it. So that's always in the painting. And then I can work from that abrasion to more of a precision. So I'll start off beating the paper. Sometimes I'll light the paper on fire. Sometimes. I'll run over it with my car, sometimes I'll just go into it with a knife, sometimes I'll just kind of go over it with a wire brush, but you always, I, I'm, I always love material buildup. And I think the more that you put into the work with the material, I think the more the viewer will get out of it. They're going to see that there's uh, different layers involved, not only with material, but conceptually as well. The struggle of the artist is true, I think it's a little over exaggerated. Everybody has problems, and I think I was blessed with this outlet on how to deal with problems and things that come up in your daily life. I think artists have a blessing that they're able to work through those things. It doesn't have to be art, but I think everybody has something special that they can work through. Art's just easiest for me, whether it be problems or happiness or whatever. I wouldn't know of any other way to do it other than to put it on canvas.